So the other day, I was thinking words. How'd they get their name? And could I change the name? I was also thinking some words sound very weird, so I should fix them. So I decided to. So I chose a selection of three words, table, chair, and shirt. Let's change the name and improve them once and for all. Word one, table. So I looked up where the word table came from, and the Wikipedia said the word table is derived from old English tabili, not sure if that's how you pronounce it, which that word is also derived from the Latin word tabula, not sure if that's how you pronounce it either, which is a board plank flat top piece which replaced the old English board. Its current spelling reflects the influence of the French table. So looking back at the history of the table, it said that it was a plank or a plank top piece. That's where the word came from, the Latin word plank, plank top, which was tabula. And looking back at that, I was like, why don't we just call it the plank top? Because why do we call it a table, Latin word, which I know it came from there, but we already have English words for for plank top. So I decided just, just call it plank top. There we go, plank top. Word two, chair. So another weird word was the word chair, which is, I looked it up, the word chair actually comes from the word cathedra, a combination of Latin words that means sit and down. I actually kind of like that because I was going to call it a uh, plank bottom because it seems kind of similar to the table. Uh, but moving on, because I actually like sit down so much better, I'll actually do sit down. There you go. I like that. Word three, shirt. So the final word I chose was the word shirt, and I looked it up. The word shirt came from, the English word shirt comes from the old English word spider? What? That's odd. It's a, and it is sim related to similar pieces of clothing in Germanic languages, that German? Like the old Norse skirta or Swedish skijorda? What? Everyone around Northern Europe owned one of these short tunic-like garments, including Anglo-Saxons. The people living around... Oh, well, it ends there. It ends there, okay. Well, I mean, that explanation doesn't really give me much detail on where it comes from, because it only said it's just similar to other pieces of clothing. But that we'd have to change those names as well if we're going to change the shirt. But I, I was thinking of a name, and I think maybe the Clothlet, Clothlet would be a good name. Because we've always, clothing, the clothing and let just seems kind of, just seems correct, like an accessory. Clothlet. Name it Clothlet. So there you have it. Those are the three words that I decided to change. I went from table, the plank top, chair, to sit down, and shirt, to Clothlet. How do you like these names? If you don't like them and you're thinking, too bad, I'm not changing. Anyway, thank you, bye.